Lately, it seems like every celeb is getting a lot of heat or being involved in controversies. Hollywood never gets a break from insane allegations to people exposing their fellow stars. Now we're all aware of the violent and extreme lifestyles that most rappers today have come from. Some turned their lives around and some just went deeper into the rabbit hole. One of these rappers was King Von, who was at the height of his career and had a promising future, but unfortunately, he died in a shooting attack back in 2020. This shocked the rap world because so far, the fans have only heard about the violence and gang rivalries in the rap song lyrics. Thus, when something like this happens to someone you know, it can shock you to the core and show you that the rap world is not just talk. From Tupac Shakur to Biggie, all of these stars in the rap world have lost their lives either due to their involvement with a gang or associating with the wrong people. But the thing that most people forget to understand is that most rappers have been living a life full of street crime and aggression during their childhood development years. It's hard to unlearn all of the unhealthy and destructive things that you have seen for your entire life. Many times, when a rapper or an artist has tried to cut off ties from all drug or violence related communities, they have received a lot of backlash. This is because gang members value loyalty more than anything else and are willing to take someone's life over it. They do not want you to prosper and cut ties and lead a healthy and completely legal life. So congratulations to everyone who made it out fine and healthy, but some people do not get the chance to start a new and better chapter of their lives. Before King Von's death in 2020, he talked about gang violence in an interview and talked about how people are losing lives and it is devastating because everyone has a family to go back to. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today, we have a video for you with all of the latest updates. King Von, whose real name was Davon Bennett, talked about his early life and his childhood memories. He commented on the current violence crisis and all of the aggression going on in his hometown, Chicago. He explained to his fans that once you're a part of this life, it's hard to come back from it. People do not know how to communicate in a healthy way or resolve issues. Their only few options to deal with any disagreements are to either beat up somebody, kill them, or send them over to jail. Now, this shocked most of his fans because no one was aware that King Von had seen gang violence and street crime firsthand. Unfortunately, a few months after the interview was released, King Von lost his life at the age of 26 and one of the most prominent rappers left this world. He had released his debut album before his death and the album was called Welcome to O-Block. King Von won over his fans due to his realistic views, honesty, and charisma because he was never the one to shy away from the truth. His close friends made sure that Von stayed in the hearts of his fans by releasing his posthumous album called What It Means to Be King. The album highlights the most vulnerable moments of the star and his core beliefs. If King Von's death was not shocking enough for you, the Chicago Police Department exposed a new side of the rapper. The PD and court officials released information that showed that King Von had close ties with many violent gangs. According to some sources, King Von is responsible for the death of at least three people and his alarming gang history does not just end here. There is a thorough investigation currently going on about King Von and his allies and some police officials are saying that he might be responsible for even more deaths. This all became known when an official police case report from the Chicago department got leaked and went viral over the internet. The officials have yet to release a statement that tells the fans and the rap world what's going on, but it looks like King Von fell down the same violent road as his fellow stars. However, we have gathered some insider information for you that claims that King Von was responsible for shooting a teenage model back in 2012. The model had links to one of the deadliest and most violent gangs of Chicago, and King Von had a huge part to play in it. So, what about the rest of the murders that are being linked to Vaughn? The other two murders occurred back in 2014, and now, further investigation is on the way to prove Vaughn's involvement behind all of this. King Vaughn was also a member of the famous Chicago gang that had many rivalries, and one of them involved K.I. These two had a long history of gang involvement and were even verbally attacking each other on social media platforms. People were waiting on these two to end the rivalry and settle everything, but K.I. died back in 2014, and many people saw King Vaughn as a suspect. Due to a lack of evidence, Vaughn was released from prison and the case went cold. We'll know more once the Chicago PD tells us anything or people find more evidence. But for now, they have enough to go on from because King Vaughn was either around or involved in multiple deadly shootings and gang fights. If anyone digs any deeper, they will find more disturbing stuff about the late rapper King Vaughn. What do you think about this shocking turn of events? Let us know in the comments section down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like it and subscribe to our channel. We're always bringing you the most exciting events going on around the world. Thanks for watching.